Free school meals were, for my mother, a godsend. They weren't an add-on, they were an essential. She didn't have to spend time packing a lunch for me and it meant I got a hot meal five days a week without her having to worry. It saved her time and if you're working poor, that matters and it saved her money. My Lords, and that's what makes these regulations so abhorrent. The government seeks to dress up this change as being something it isn't. They say, as Lady Buscombe did last week, that they are an act of state generosity because when they roll out universal credit and it's complete, there will be 50,000 additional beneficiaries. My Lords, this isn't because the scheme is more generous. It is simply, as the Children's Commissioner rumbled last week, because of an increase in the size of the school age population by nearly half a million by, by 2022. In fact, as a percentage of the school age population, fewer will be entitled. Studies show that the educational benefit of good eating habits uh, are profound. Northumbria University's work on this suggests there is a real benefit in terms of educational attainment of a midday meal for those from low income households. And it was precisely because of this link that school meals were first introduced back in 1906 and why Labour has done so much to encourage breakfast clubs to ensure kids get fed before the school day begins. The government aren't making these changes out of the goodness of their heart. These changes are being made as part of the continuing austerity package. Perhaps the Minister can enlighten us this evening to the level of continuous savings they produce to the Treasury. But, my Lords, we do know the value of free school meals to individual households. £437 uh, a child uh, per child for a year, over £1,300 a year for a three-child family where all are in education. Take those sums away and it represents a significant cut to family income. This is a divisive policy in families where some will get the benefit until they finish school and others won't. My Lords, the Children's Society argue that the introduction of the 7,400 earnings limit for free school meals creates a serious cliffage that fundamentally undermines that objective and will mean that many families actually become worse off overall by increasing their earnings. The Children's Society estimates that some 200,000 families with half a million children are at risk of falling into a new poverty trap where they seek to increase earnings or are forced to by their work coach and they will then lose the benefit of free school meals. They also estimate that a further 150,000 families with 400,000 children will find themselves in a position where they could be better off by reducing their earnings. My Lords, the best thing that can be said for the government's consultation paper is that it is confusing. My Lords, poverty doesn't make headlines. It should. These regulations do nothing to solve problems of modern poverty, but, my Lords, they surely make things worse. I beg to move. Yeah.